Today, I'm going to talk about the African Sustainable Infrastructure Mobility. As in, these are scholarships for African countries. This is the opportunity for many African scholars, students who are looking for scholarships, but this will be to study in African universities. I'm going to give the names of the universities, which we call the host institutions. But most importantly, I'm going to talk about this scholarship uh, for masters and PhD scholarships. There are 60 positions, 60 opportunities for people in Africa to pursue masters and PhD studies uh, in the following countries. The countries which we call the host institutions, they will be in Malawi, Tanzania, Nigeria, and South Africa. Those are the countries where you'll be going to study. And we call some host institutions in those particular countries. Welcome everyone, this is Ernest Boniface Makurilo EBM, and I welcome you today to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash EBM Scholars. And if today is your first time to come across to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to this wonderful channel to get more information about opportunities. You can see on my screen, there are various logos. There are logos, four logos for four universities, and then there is a logo of the European Union or European Commission. So this is Africa Sustainable Infrastructure Mobility as in scholarships for African countries. So uh, you can see number of scholarships available. There are 60 scholarships available for people to be able to pursue these opportunities. So these are a lot of scholarships, but they divided into two groups. Uh, in terms of eligibility, before I go to the level of education and the, the GPA part, I just want to explain a few things. Who are eligible? You must be a citizen of the following countries. The countries have been divided into two major targets. Uh, so the current scholarships are targeted to young professional citizens and residents of the following countries. So the first category or the first target group is the citizens of Malawi, Tanzania, Nigeria, and South Africa is target group number one. Then these will be the first people to be given priority. Then the second group is the rest of Africa is the target group number two. And what does this scholarship is going to cover? So the scholarship value is going to cover the university tuition fees, a monthly uh, living allowance, a, an economic flight ticket to go and return from your country to the host institution. And then there is a special additional allowances for the female students. But I said uh, the target group number one is the citizen of Malawi, Tanzania, Nigeria, and South Africa. So these are the four universities which you'll be going to start. Uh, there is RD University, which is in Tanzania. I, I, I can go back here to show you. So the host institution, there is RV University. RV is land, so is architectural uh, program, whatever we'll be talking about that. There is Covenant University, there is University of Johannesburg and University of Malawi Polytechnic. So those are the host institutions where we'll be going to study in one of those particular universities. But what are the particular programs are you supposed to study? So the ASIM is the cons consortium of four universities, are the University Covenant University, University of Johannesburg, and University of Malawi, the Polytechnic. And the obvious, there is EU uh, technical partner, which is uh, Leeds, Bucket University, under the European Commission. So uh, when you apply, uh, obvious you can apply for either masters to pursue master's studies or to, uh, to pursue uh, doctorate studies. So A, uh, ASIM invites uh, suitable qualified, uh, qualified and highly motivated Africans from, uh, from Africa uh, into its master's and PhD uh, degree programs is a strategic to increase the talent of pool of expertise uh, in infrastructure and development, developing the capacity of African higher education institution to deliver sustainable infrastructure education. So there are certain programs you can be able to apply. 
just as I said, there is Alvi University, which is in Tanzania, which they say, uh, so the, it will be the level of study to be full time master's degree program or PhD studies. Uh, and to be in the programs in either ar uh, architectural studies, basically, building technology, civil engineering, construction economics and management, construction management, estate management, infrastructure development, and project management, sustainable urban planning and development, and urban and regional planning, and that will be by research. So those are the programs which you can be able to apply and be able to go to study to those particular university. Uh, so there are 60 programs or 60 scholarships available for uh, people to go to study. Uh, the deadline for this application is June 30th. And when are you supposed to go to start your studies? You are supposed to start your studies on uh, the month of September or October, depending on which date the university which will be uh, admitted will be able to start the studies. So to start studies, it will be September or October, the year 2021, uh, if it is before master's or for PhD, as long as you apply for those one. So what are the eligibility? So the eligibility, number one, we have talked about the citizenship. So as I said, the category number one is, or target number one is, you must be a citizen and a resident of the following countries, uh, which is uh, eligible from Tanzania, Malawi, Nigeria, and South Africa. Uh, the other categories, if they don't have enough from this one, they are going to other target group, which will be the rest of the countries from Africa. And you must, obviously, if you're applying for master's, you must have a bachelor undergraduate studies, which will enable you to do master's program, or you need to have, if you have bachelor degree, you want to go for master's, obviously, you need to have upper second class, the minimum of 3.5 GPA out of 5 GPA scale in those particular recognized universities. If you are applying for master's, uh, I mean for PhD, for bachelor degree, first of all, you must have the bachelor degree of 3.5 GPA out of five, and the master's, you must have 4.0 GPA out of five scale in order to apply for PhD. So have a minimum of 4.0 out of uh, five scale GPA for master's, but also your bachelor degree, they are going to look for your GPA also for bachelor degree to see if you have a uh, upper second class in order to apply for PhD degree program. And then you must meet the specifications, specific requirements of the institution of your choice. You find on the website of the institution. So if we wanted to go to study, let's say I'm giving an example, architecture. Architecture is at the RV University, I know that. They have, uh, uh, for instance, uh, there is a, uh, they have rural and urban planning. If you are going to apply, you go to apply direct to the university which you are planning to go. If you want to go to apply to the University of Malawi, you go direct to apply to the university which is be of your choice. So you'll be able to meet the requirements of the particular university in order to continue with that one. But the another requirement is eligibility. Uh, you must uh, you, you are supposed to be just a brand new person who has never been a beneficiary of any scholarships provided by the European Commission or European Union. If you have ever received the scholarship from European Union, you will not be able to, uh, to go through. The application process. This application can only be submitted, only be submitted through the particular website, the application system. Uh, and where is the application system? So I'm going to put the website on the description of this video. Uh, which is uh, www.asim.co.za. That is the uh, the website. And the deadline will be uh, green, uh, GMT time, midday, uh, June 30th, uh, on that particular day. So if you click on this one, it will bring you to, this is the official website, which is uh, asim.co.za. That is the official website. So you can see Africa Sustainable Infrastructure Mobility at the corner here, which I'm showing you on my cursor, uh, where I'm pointing out. Uh, so you can be able to go and you can be able, if you want to apply for scholarship, this is the information they are giving information about the application uh, and everything. So if you click start apply, you'll be able to go and go to the applications and I'll put the link also for the application you can be able to apply for the uh, 
postgraduate and the, all the process will be uh, given there. The application, the, you, do, you have supposed to go to the normal uh, information. Uh, what are you applying? You are applying uh, as a degree seeking, something like that. University you are applying, these are the four universities, University of Johannesburg, are the University Covenant, or, or University of Malawi at Polytechnic. Uh, are you are, are you uh, beneficiary of who previously to be no? Then you put your information. The citizenship have already mentioned that uh, you are applying for. If you are applying for masters, you are applying for masters. What program are you applying? You will be able to do that. So it's a very simple application which they give you. Uh, what program are you applying and to which university you can be able to go through uh, through that way? Then uh, for those who are. Uh, so it's a very simple application in the difference you are going to put their names here. Uh, if you are going for PhD, you have to put your proposal, kind of that, and you'll be able to add required information. Your resume, proof of nationality, you can use your passport, or you can use uh, you can use the passport, or you can use the uh, national ID of your country. Uh, qualifications, uh, highest qualifications, you'll be able to put there. Academic records, evidence of English as medium of instruction, Research proposal or personal statement, you can be able to put there uh, two letters of recommendation in the sample uh, writing paper, which is a, a published paper, and that you are done, you are going to be able to submit your application. So that is a very simple application. You can be able to apply and go through. Uh, so application is open now. You can be able to go and apply. Uh, please, even if you are not looking for scholarship, Make sure that you share this information to others so that they can be able to uh, access this opportunity uh, and the go through uh, and the just utilize. Uh, it's a fully funded, 100% scholarships. You will be able to benefit and be able to do that. So for more scholarships, if you're looking for scholarships, you can be able to go to uh, my website, which is called www.ebmscholarships.com. If you go there, you'll be able to get most of these scholarships. Uh, let me show you the, what I'm talking about that particular website, which is this one. You can be able to download the free PDF uh, scholarship book. You can be able to get about recommendation letter. You'll be able to get uh, so many things you'll be able to do. Or oh, why should you apply for scholarships? So there are so many information on this particular website. That will be number one thing you need to consider. But uh, also, you can be able, uh, for those who... Uh, have Swahili uh, understanding, please go to youtube.com slash EBM Swahili. You can be able to do that. Uh, for those who are uh, obvious, my YouTube channel, if you have never come across to my English YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash EBM Scholars, subscribe and share my channel to others. And you can be able to see me on Instagram on those particular EBM signature is in my handle, uh, my username, or you can use EBM uh, signature. You can be able to find me. And on my Twitter account is twitter.com uh, slash uh, Ernest underscore Makulilo. So thank you so much, each and everyone, for your continued support. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be part of the people who can be able to benefit from these opportunities which are available for you. Thank you and goodbye. May God 